Hey everyone, Vince here. Welcome to my Royal Slice review. This application is exactly like Fruit Ninja and claims that you can earn real money by playing it. So on today's video, I'm going to see if they actually pay us or not. I hope you enjoy. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers, so thank you so much for your support. Let's kick this off. This is Royal Slice on the Google Play Store. So the whole goal of Royal Slice is that we obviously slice the fruit and then we can generate currency. Now the currency might not work in the way that you think. That's why this review is so important if you want to actually try this application out because there's some things that you need to know before you play it. Alright, so this is what Royal Slice looks like when you first turn it on. We have the hub at the top of the screen, which is the screen we're looking at now. We have the rewards tab, which we'll get to later. We have the next meal area, which is pretty much the game's objectives, which seem to refresh every day. And then we have prepare the meal and win area here. This is our game's actual objective. The first one is cook a sausage. Second one is bake a pizza. Third one is make an ice cream. Once we've completed all that, we can then claim the reward at the bottom of the screen here. You'll then see the get vouchers tab at the bottom of the screen as well. We'll talk about that later. So let's tap on the cook a sausage button here to start our first mission off. All right, it's as simple as that. Now we have to slice the fruit and of course the meat. So let me get playing now. You guys can see here, it literally looks exactly like Fruit Ninja. You even have the score at the top of the screen there as well. And I just hit the TNT, which is not what you want to have happen, okay? Good thing is, though, you have some life on the top left corner of the screen. This is actually surprisingly harder to play while talking. Funny enough, all right? Royal Slice definitely got inspired by Fruit Ninja. You even have, like, a little rating system here as well, which I don't think really matters that much. Okay, but now that I've done that objective, we now have completed 30% of the bar here. All right, it's now time to bake a pizza, everyone. Here we go. So pretty much the exact same situation for baking the pizza. All you have to do is just slice the fruit or the veggies. So I'm going to avoid the dynamite. Don't worry about that. I'm not going to get done in again. <laughs> I really do like the concept of this application, by the way. I just feel like a lot of people might be getting let down by the way the currency system works, as I did as well. Because in my head, what we're doing right now should be generating currency for us to cash out later on down the track, right? And once I finish creating these dishes, I can show you exactly what I mean. So there we go, the pizza has now been created and I now have the well done three stars award there. We have one single dish left now. Let's finish off the final make ice cream mission. I haven't really notice the difficulty get harder though as the missions progress. It seems to be pretty much the exact same game for every single mission. Because usually in Fruit Ninja, I could have sworn everyone that it got harder as time went on. But in Royal Slice, it just seems to be a pretty straightforward application where you only have about one or two of the fruit or veggies on the screen at once. So it's really not that hard at all. There we go, we have the well done again and now I've created my little ice cream. So now you'll notice that it states that I can claim my reward. Tapping on that will bring up this dish here. All you need to do is simply tap on the dish. Then as you'll see, it lifts up to reveal a $1 prize there. Now you might be thinking in your head, okay, how exactly do I get that $1 worth of currency? Well, you'll notice here in the middle of the screen that you have a voucher section. I currently have 11,000 vouchers and I need 109,000 vouchers to cash out this $1 worth of currency. So to get vouchers, we have to tap on the get voucher button at the bottom of the screen. You can even see here it states play games to earn vouchers. That's right everyone, we have to play games within Royal Slice to earn vouchers which then we can convert into real life money. So the actual slicing portion of the application really is just kind of like a filler aspect to it. In reality, if you want to actually make money on Royal Slice, you have to play games within it through their playtime reward system. Now we've dealt with systems like this before, so it's really not the end of the world. Let me show you how the playtime reward system works here in Australia. Let's tap on the get vouchers button now. So this is the playtime rewards feature on Royal Slice. As you can see here, it works exactly like you guys would expect if you've ever played a Playtime Rewards feature application. Now, depending on your country, age, and even gender, 
these games will reward you with different amounts of vouchers. I know I say this in every video, but there's still some people that think that these applications will behave exactly the same as they do here in Australia in their country. The developers are the ones that actually decide this and the advertisers within the application, okay? You can see here though, the highest application that will reward me is Slots Error that will give me 60,000 vouchers in total with almost 1,000 vouchers per minute. Just remember though, the more you play, the harder it gets to generate the vouchers as well. Let's tap on the Your Apps section. So here you can see the applications that I've actually played to generate vouchers. The main one I played for today's video was Coin Master to generate almost 150,000 of the vouchers out of 700,000. I can get almost 16,000 vouchers in 8 minutes everyone. Underneath that we have Dice Dreams with 120,000 vouchers in total, Cash Empire with 74,000 vouchers in total and Mine Rescue with 58,000 vouchers in total. Here is a good example of how the difficulty spikes the longer you play the applications for. It states play for 8 minutes and then it states play for 13 minutes. And you'll notice that the vouchers slightly go up. Technically though, you have 700,000 vouchers here, which easily equals about $7 worth of real currency. So adding up all the games on Royal Slice, at the time of this recording, the application probably has about a payout potential of around $10 to $15 worth of Australian currency, which is actually pretty decent for a money-making application. Although when it comes to the bottom applications that are only giving you about 400 vouchers per minute, I would tend to stay away from them because they seem like a waste of time. Take for example, Craftmine 3D. That's only offering up up to 30,000 vouchers, which is literally like 30 cents. And you would have to play that for hours. So always start with the top apps first. They generally will pay you the best. So now that I've claimed my reward, it now states that I have to watch an advertisement to receive my new meal. This isn't too bad of an option here, everyone, but as you can see, you have five opportunities to unlock new meals every single day. Obviously, the developer has to make some sort of money as well, and they choose to do that through making you guys watch the advertisements. Now it's time to talk about if Royal Slice is actually a legitimate application or a scam. Well, everyone, let me tell you all about it. After unlocking the first dish that allows me to actually generate vouchers, I was able to generate enough vouchers for a $1.25 cash out. It took about one hour for me to achieve the required vouchers to get to that point. For some reason though, you need face verification to cash out on this application, which I really do not like at all. And I'm sure a lot of you guys out there do not appreciate that feature either. This is the payout history tab on Royal Slice. As you can see here, I cashed out one $1.25 worth of USD currency. And I'm happy to say within one day, I was paid that currency straight to my PayPal account. The weird thing is though, it was Euro currency, not USD like the app stated. So at least at the time of this recording, Royal Slice is a legitimate way to make money online by playing games. Is it for everyone though? More than likely not. And I really hope they improve the fruit slicing element to make you actually generate money from playing that as well. If you want other legitimate money-making applications, be sure to check out my website and my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to show support as always. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. I'll catch you all tomorrow for another review.